Hello, I'm Mariana with Roy TV, and today I'm here with Avery. Why did you decide to join the debate team? Uh, I decided to join debate because every year I tend to do something different. So this year I was like, oh, I'm going to join debate. So. What does a debate team do during class? So in debate, we go into class and we have these bunch of documents where it's evidence of like just cases that we're going to probably see when we go to competition. So what we spend in class is making those cases, practicing, going through how a debate round would go and seeing what people could bring up. Um, what do you compete in during debate? Um, there's many things that people compete in. I compete in CX. Um, there is also LD. Um, LD, is, LD and CX are very similar. Um, the difference is LD is for people who go one-on-one -on -one and um, CX is for people who are in pairs that go against each other. Pretty much very same. There's also extent. Extent goes into two topics, which is informative and persuasive. Um, and informative, you can just inform people about stuff like one topic could be about NASA and why they're going back to the moon and f like after 50 years and you give three main reasons why and just tell people about it and persuasive is where you can have a give a person a topic of like oh why would this thing why is this thing happening and then you give your opinion on it and try to persuade that person to think the same way you're thinking um who would be a good fit for debate um, anyone who has a grip on like politics or who can easily come back with remarks that are backed up by evidence. Um, what are some of the debates team's successes this year? Um, this year, <laughs> this year uh, we had um, one of our CX teams make fourth place and another one of our CX teams make sixth place. Well, thank you for your time. I'm Mariana with Roy TV. Now I'm Ringan Yeager here with Road TV. Today I'm here with Jackson Haynes. Jackson, when is y'all's next tournament? Our next tournament is Friday North 40 tournament. What are your expectations for the tournament? Uh, the team should get at least first or second place in every event. What are your goals for the end of the year? Uh, our districts, I should get first or second, go to regionals, and hopefully make something happen there, go to state. I'm Ringan Yeager here with Road TV. Now back to the studio. I'm Trey Castaneda Roar TV and this is Miss G. So Miss G, how's the art program this year? The art program is going fabulous this year. We're working on a project that I do every every uh, spring. It's called All About Me, and this year it's in 2023. Mm. Built in. So Miss G, what's the best art project that you have made? Well, the art projects that I like the most are the ones that people can have see like themselves if they do portraits and that's fine. But I also like for people to look inside themselves, their feelings and what they what they like and what they don't like, to get this sense of the entire person. Kind of the holistic approach. Yeah. And how long can you hold a plank for? You know, here's the here's the, the latest on the plank situation. It's three minutes and fifty seconds. I'm going for four this weekend. Ooh, that's impressive. Uh, can't you also do the splits? Yes, and I want to tell you guys, have a great year and stay limber. <laughs> Hello, I'm Aiden with Road TV and today I'm here with Coach Armstrong. How long have you been teaching in Kaufman? I've been teaching in Kaufman for 13 years. Uh, I started out teaching history and now I teach AV production. Why'd you decide to teach at Kaufman? Well, in the coaching profession, sometimes we don't always get to choose whether or not we go back to a school. So about 2009, we had a few bad seasons at Wichita Falls Hershey, and we kind of felt the need to move on. And uh, they kind of cleaned house at the coaching there. And Luckily, I had some connections here at Kaufman, even though I've never met them. Coach White um, and uh, Coach York hired me on back then. What subjects have you taught? I started out teaching history. I taught history for about 10 years, and then uh, we needed filmers for football practice. And so Coach York thought it would be a good idea to start a class. That class kind of blossomed and blew up into our CTE AV production program, which is four years now, and you can even get certified. So you uh, run the student film project. How does that work? So every year there's a UIL film festival and students make either documentaries or short films. The films go from three to seven minutes. Um, we're better at the documentaries right now, but we're getting better with the narratives each time and each year we do it. We had 
three advancing films this year and a couple of nobility uh, awards. Do you have any hidden talents that your students should know about? Well, you know, obviously I'm not, you know, I'm a video editor and if you didn't know who I was, you'd know I'd do that. That's my professional kind of hidden talent. Uh, a lot of people know me that I make videos, but I guess this right here is my other hidden talent. I can do that really fast. Thank you for your time. I'm Aiden with Road TV.